Hello everyone, um, today I wanted to talk about uh, what I use for storage for my Blackmagic uh, Full Frame 6K uh, camera kit and as I mentioned before I had this uh, type of uh, case and this inside there is a, a NVMe uh, 2TB um, and this case is capable of 20 gigabit per second uh, um, speed so uh, it's very capable of uh, using for 6K video. Okay, now this is pretty long, and inside there is an MVNE that is 2280. So 80 cent this is 80 millimeter, and 22 is the um, le um, width of the um, memory, the MVNE card. But then I found uh, this other guy. And this, the price are pretty similar, $20, $22. So I found this one, and which is half of the size, if you see, pretty much. Um, and this guy, uh, I did something, um, I did a mistake, because I bought uh, an MVNE that is uh, uh, 22, but 42 millimeter. Instead, this guy fits a 30 millimeter. So I had to buy the 30 millimeter, and um, so I have this guy again, 20 gigabit per second uh, uh, case. You have to always uh, check the case if it's able to run uh, the speed of the the um, MVNE, and the MVNE inside here is 30 millimeter, so it's too small, okay, and it's a uh, two terabyte. Uh, and it's capable of running um, much more than, than 20 gigabit. It's a PCI 4. Um, I paid for this inside uh, $136. And this too is capable of of uh, 50 megabit, uh, uh, this MVNE. But the, the card, uh, there's hosting, so the case, is a 20 gigabit. That means that this MVNE you can use it for your uh, PC or storage card or whatever, or even for Thunderbolt. If you have a Thunderbolt, you can put this. If you have a Thunderbolt case, you can use this MVNE. Okay? So these are really cool. Um, I wish they had uh, like a, a mid size, like a, one that is for 30, as this guy, maybe 42. A bit uh, longer, so I can distinguish. So I have to put some um, some labeling. Anyway, I already formatted inside uh, the Blackmagic uh, uh, Pocket uh, uh, Camera uh, 6K, um, and this guy is is very cool because uh, I can put it in the in my. Um, this is the plates that I have for my uh, black magic I'm building this guy for the motors these are the um, nucleus nano 2 motors and I'm trying to figure out the best uh, way to mount them um, not uh, super easy because um, first of all there are two motors so they're heavy they're very strong I already tried with just this uh, uh, carbon fiber uh, tube to um, to mount on a, a case uh, and there are some movements so I didn't like it so I figured out for this but anyway so this is the storage I put it inside here and this guy you see fits perfectly okay and I have a screw here that I can turn it to block this guy but now with this small ones it's even better because it's a super super small actually <laughs> kind of small to handle it but that's okay so if you for any camera that needs more storage buy this kind of uh, uh, MVNE case and the MVNE storage make sure that it's the 20 gigabit otherwise it won't uh, uh, work uh, um, you'll have uh, strange results. So 20 gigabit to the, 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 the case and uh, the MVNE by a PCI4 
P even PCA3 works, but make sure that it's, uh, it's good one that you can reuse for other stuff. And it's super small, much smaller than the the SSD that I see around. And they cost uh, more than this guy. So, and it's do it yourself, and it's cheaper and more reliable, for sure. And you know you can put it anywhere in the camera. You have to just figure out where. Anyway, I'm going to leave the links in the description. Uh, if you're interested, check them out, and uh, I'll see you on next video. Bye bye.